How's it going everyone? This video is going to be how to trade BPR or how to use aggressive price action to your advantage. This is what BPR is, is you have some sort of fair value gap on this side, such as this bearish fair value gap here, that is overlapped with a bullish fair value gap here. And so if you combine the two, whatever one is smaller, there is your BPR, right? So then ideally you are looking for a retracement back to this area in order to get an entry, right? And now you might be wondering why not look for this one right here since it lines up as well. And that's just because if this is our said range, you don't want to be longing in a premium, right? Going back to the basics there. Ideally, you want to see this type of action run below some sort of point of interest, right? So whether this is an old low into a fair value gap, have some sort of liquidity rate that gives you a reason to be looking long here, right? Like I said, you want your higher time frame point of interest. Looking at this price action here on the 15 minute chart, you can see we have a low around midnight here, equal lows right here, which are obviously a target. So this is our point of interest, right? Liquidity is resting below this. And this is where we want to watch to see if we get a setup. So going down to the one minute, we head for this low and take it out with quite a bit of displacement, putting in fair value gaps with each candle. We continue lower. And this is making me think bullish until we get an aggressive move right back up, putting in even a larger fair value gap. Now, if you look, we have a BPR right here and you could take an entry in there. However, if it's too much risk for the bottom there, what you can do is use this idea to frame a narrative as you're looking for long entries, wait for an internal low to be put in. And then once that low is taken, look for a long setup, which would be your higher time frame fair value gap there. And you can see how it worked out. Another example is right here. We ran previous lows, right? So here's our deviation from the range. What do we have? An aggressive price movement down, right? Our fair value gap. What is also right here? A fair value gap. And if you combine those, right? Whatever one is smaller, you take that, move that all the way over. You can see here is your long entries, right? And so you want to be looking long into there. London comes around, reaches down into that fair value gap or BPR, and then you get long, right? So even if you do miss these type of trades, you can look for price action like this in your higher time frames to give narrative or bias, right? So that is a lot of times how I get some bias. This is also very similar to Alex's box video. If you guys haven't, I'll link it right above, but you can see breaks out of the consolidation, returns to it, retests the low, and then long. So all kind of lines up there. Hope this video was kind of helpful. If you need more examples or have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But other than that, I hope you have an incredible day. See ya.